Welcome back. Be they highways or byways, savvy hoods or neighborhoods, this season of Travel Rise Tuesdays is committed to finding all the fucks on the road and using them to scoop up some delicious bargains, including some that at first might seem unpenetrable. But they are no more. I'm at the Applebee's Grill and Bar at the Clifton Commons of Clifton, New Jersey to unlock this treasure chest of delicious secret recipes. Let's see if this can be the apple of the most hardcore foodie's eye. Coming up next. It's thrifted time! It's a beautiful day to dish in this neighborhood. Today, some of America's restaurant's biggest secrets will be revealed. It should come to no shock for people that I'm a secret renegade videographer, secretly capturing people in their natural habitats. However, on most days I'm not a pretty good secret keeper. However, on this day, it's to my advantage that I'm not a pretty good secret keeper because contained herein are recipes too good to keep to oneself. We have here a treasury of top secret recipes. It's actually a condendum of recipes from these three top secret recipe books. It's Todd Wilbur's best-selling complete guide to recreating America's best-selling brand name foods and restaurant recipes in your own home, picked up for $3.99. Let's get started, naturally, with Applebee's and the item I'm ordering today. The not-so-top-secret-anymore quesadillas. The menu description at the time, two cheeses, bacon, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, grilled poutine, tortillas with guacamole, sour cream, and salsa. We have here the story on the development of the quesadillas and Applebee's Genesis itself. Of course, with every recipe in here, you get hand-drawn blueprints from Todd Wilbur himself on how the final product is supposed to look. In this case, these are the blueprints for Applebee's quesadillas, which were first concocted in 1987. Job number A0031458919Q. We also have Applebee's pizza sticks. Thin, crusty strips of pizza dough topped with herbs and melted Italian cheese, served with marinara sauce. You can load it up by adding Italian sausage and pepper only to the mix. That'll serve six to eight as an appetizer. And these are your blueprints for the pizza sticks. That's on the docket is Oriental Chicken Salad. Crisp Oriental Greens topped with chunks of crunchy chicken fingers, toasted almonds, and crispy rice noodles tossed in a light Oriental vinaigrette. And we have no blueprints for the final product. Next up, a clubhouse grill. Menu description, a signature hot club sandwich with warm sliced ham and turkey, cheddar, tomatoes, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce on thick sliced grilled French bread, served with a side of coleslaw. Coleslaw omitted from this particular copycat recipe. This is a Tijuana Philly steak sandwich, Philly in quotation marks, Lean shade Philly steak folded into a grilled tortilla roll with Monterey Jack and cheddar, sauteed mushrooms, onions, tomatoes, bacon, and jalapenos. And those are the blueprints for the final Applebee's recipe here. So we have a mixture of restaurant recipes and brand name products. Ranging from Applebee's to KFC to Arby's, Dairy Queen, etc. As far as the name brand recipes go, Tasty Cake, Nestle, we also have here Jack in the Box, Hardee's, Cinnabon, Carl's Jr., The Wops. You also get a good amount of history in here. You'll learn how each restaurant recipe and restaurant itself, along with the brand names, got their start. Plus, you'll read all about Todd's mishaps in developing these copycat recipes. All the tricks and tips he's learned along the way and pass it along to you. Despite this not having any photographs at all, the blueprints add a nice touch to it. They make it a real scientific thing. Ah, speak of the delicious devil. Thanks very much.
That is my chicken quesadilla. But before I tag into that, let's have a look at some more copycat recipes in here. We have here McDonald's Egg McMuffin. And by the way, with six copycat recipes in here, McDonald's is the leader in this book. Applebee's and the Cheesecake Factory tie for second place with five copycat recipes apiece. We have here KFC's original, 11 ups and spices, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Ben & Jerry's Heath Bar Crunch Ice Cream, Dunkin' Donuts, Nabisco Oreo Cookie, Sapple Taco Bell, Wendy's, Chili's, Tony Roma's, Pizza Hut, Lone Star Steakhouse, including some restaurant recipes that might not be on menus today, from restaurants that might not even exist today. From best-selling author and kitchen clone recipe king Todd Wilbur comes three of his classic cookbooks, all combined for the first time in one special volume. Top secret recipes, more top secret recipes, and restaurant recipes. With ingredients you can buy at your lo local supermarket, making this uh, no-nonsense, common-sense book. And with no dyes, preservatives, or fillers, you can recreate your favorite brand name foods and restaurants and traditions right in your own kitchen. Plus, you'll learn how to make high cholesterol recipes lower in fat without changing the taste. You'll learn how to make dishes from hot eateries like the Hot Rock Cafe in Planet Hollywood, this band's breakfast, lunch, dinners, and desserts, and snacks. You'll learn how Ice Cream Sundays got their name, Todd Wilbur's amazing kitchen adventures, now escapes, and learned the hard way cookie tips, and much, much more. Simple, foolproof, easy to prepare, and so delicious, you'll swear it's the real thing. This is a plume book. I didn't put the Penguin Putnam. There's no retail price to be found for this, so be it. However, I can assure you, have you tried this once, this is worth every penny. Whether you make it yourself, use the recipe in this book, or just have it on site at Applebee's for some real scrumptious field research. This comes with pico de gallo and sour cream. This treasury, for most taste buds anyway, should prove to be a real treasure. For lack of photographs, four and a half out of five claps. If you ever wanted to know what was really inside your favorite casual dining, fast food, chain, restaurant recipe, or your favorite name brand recipe from your local supermarket, now's your chance to find out and eat real good in your neighborhood. This is Mr. PCS signing off from the Applebee's at the Clifton Commons. Thanks for joining me. We'll be hitting the world again next week, so stay tuned and stay hungry. Thanks for watching. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the...